Hello again. I think I can honestly say that it is many years since I heard anybody express hatred for any person or any group of people, as in, I hate X or I hate such and such people. Perhaps I'm moving the wrong circles, but it's simply not a word which I ever hear from one year to the next. The only time I ever encounter this word is when listening to or reading about anti-racists and liberals. They are enormously fond of slinging the word about, talking all the time about hate speech, hate crime, and so on, and accusing people of hating refugees or hating gay people. I find this odd. I think I can see why they are so keen on talking in this way, because, of course, it gives added force to their political views. Take gay people, for example. I have never, in the whole course of my life, heard anybody say that he or she hates homosexuals. That doesn't mean to say, of course, that I've not come across people with negative views when it comes to gay people. It has, however, been limited to mild expressions of irritation, perhaps saying things like, why are they always so in your face? Or perhaps, I haven't got any time for gays. That kind of thing. This is not, of course, hatred. However, if you wish to make a production out of how right on and liberal you are, it sounds far more impressive to talk about hatred of gay people as though it were actually a thing. Hate crime, of course, sounds far more serious than mild irritation crime or I can live without meeting them crime. It is nice and dramatic. I might mention that what with my moustache, and the fact that my voice sometimes comes across as more feminine than masculine, that it has not been at all unusual for people to take me for being a homosexual myself. Nobody has ever demonstrated hatred of me on this account, though. It's more that I've caught people raising their eyes as though it's irritation and little things like that. It is much the same with black people, refugees, foreigners and transsexuals. I can't imagine why anybody would hate members of such groups, although I can readily appreciate why they might feel different to them. Again, though, that falls far short of hatred. I know that I have myself been accused of hating both homosexuals and black people, but I find this baffling in the extreme. I have certainly published evidence here which may or may not be convincing, that it is possible that there are slight differences in things such as testosterone levels and possible average IQs between various ethnic groups, with those from East Asia being a little different from white Europeans and black people of African origin being different from both groups. The evidence is certainly not definite and for various reasons connected both with obtaining funding and also political motives we are unlikely to see any large-scale research on this, which might confirm it either way. But let us, just for a moment, suppose that it were to be proved that Chinese people had, on average, a slightly higher IQ than white people of European heritage. Would this cause Chinese people to hate those of us from Europe? I can't think that it would. The idea is a bit mad, really. We are, after all, talking about averages, so it would not tell us anything useful about any individual Chinese person we met. And anyway, why would I hate a man or woman, even if I knew for sure that while my IQ was 100, that other person's was 95 or 96? Is that really grounds for hatred? I don't think so personally. I mean, my IQ is fairly average. I've come across people that are slightly, have a slightly lower IQ than me, and I come across many others who have a higher IQ. But I don't calculate IQs like that. 
And if I knew that someone's IQ was a little higher than mine, I wouldn't be fearing that that person would hate me on that account. In the same way that if I met somebody whose IQ was slightly lower than mine, I wouldn't feel inclined to hate them for that. This all sounds really weird to me. It is for this reason that I am puzzled when some people in the comments here pop up and suggest that I am consumed by hatred for this or that group. Unless we are completely demented, then simply recognising that somebody might be different from us should not really be grounds for hating them. As I say, I think that left-wingers have devised this whole idea of hatred, together with all the paraphernalia of hate speech, hate crimes and all the rest of it, to advance their political views and provide them with some good justification. If somebody accused me of feeling a little less than enthusiasm at uh, gay people, I would laugh and I might admit it. I've done so to gay men and the only reaction is in laughter. <laughs> As I say though, accusing me of less than enthusiasm speech doesn't sound nearly as wicked as hate speech, which can be tricked out as a crime. I suppose what I'm driving at is that I have no hatred for gay men, black people, refugees or anybody else. Not wanting tens of thousands of illegal immigrants to enter my country each year doesn't mean that I hate them. It simply means that I would prefer that if they wish to visit Britain, they arrived at airports like everybody else and paid for their own hotel rooms the way most tourists do. I might, and indeed I do, feel exasperated by the spinelessness of our present government, which does not feel able or willing to maintain control of the country's borders, but that does not translate into hatred of those who take advantage of this weakness. Again, now, I suppose that exasperation speech would not sound nearly so good in court as hate speech. I doubt whether saying any of this will make the least difference to those who are obsessed with hate, but it is worth bearing in mind that it is progressive people, rather than the supposed racists and transphobes, who are in fact always going on about hatred. It is in their hearts, rather than in those of the people whom they are so keen to crush that hatred is such a powerful force. The next time you watch two rival groups on the news, say feminists and an opposing group of trans people, or perhaps people protesting about a centre for asylum seekers in their neighbourhood and an opposing force of anti-fascists, I suggest that you watch closely and see which group has hatred on their faces, which group is more prone to using violence. Is it the progressive people, the anti-fascists and the transsexual activists, or is it the feminists and the people protesting against the asylum-seeking centre. Just don't take my word for this, just watch some old news clips for yourself. <laughs>